therefore I take pleasure. How many preachers on YouTube or in these mega churches are preaching this verse? Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So Paul says to the churches and to you and I, take pleasure in your infirmities, brothers and sisters. Take pleasure in your reproaches. Take pleasure in your needs. Take pleasure in your persecution. Take pleasure in your distress. For Christ's sake, not your own sake, Christ's sake. For when you are weak, brothers and sisters, then you are truly strong in the Spirit of God and that anointing, that anointing comes upon you. And the glory that fell upon the Old Testament saints, the glory that fell upon Stephen, and the glory that fell on the New Testament saints will fall on you in that moment. So many people want to get in a church service and they say, Lord, fill me with your spirit. Pour down your presence on me because I want to feel you. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel the presence of God. I have felt the presence of God. But did you know that most likely you will feel the presence and power of God mostly in your infirmities, in persecutions, when your face is down in the gutter, when you're being absolutely annihilated by the evil one? That, my friends, that is when you're going to feel the presence of God rise up in you and empower you the most. And let me tell you, I don't know what is on the horizon specifically for this country or around the world. But I will tell you, if things get bad, if there's civil unrest and they come after the Christians in this country, just know, brothers and sisters, that the Spirit of the Lord will raise up in you at that moment if you are fully surrendered, fully submitted to doing His will. Just say, I'm going to obey you at all costs. The Bible says, when the enemy comes in like the like a flood we just read that in revelation 12 like a flood the lord raises up a standard against him that standard is himself we line up behind god he comes in like a flood and the lord says stop you gotta stop you resist him he's gotta flee the flood has gotta flee it's gotta go around you just like psalm 91 pestilence around you people dying around you but you will stand firm why because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So if I haven't said anything at all that helped you in this live stream, listen to me now by the word of the Lord. God will see you through the trial. God will see you through the valley because of your goodness, because of your power. No, because of his goodness, his Holy Spirit indwelling you with that anointing of his spirit to see you through amen 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 i'm saying amen to the holy spirit because that wasn't me that was god okay i did not have that in my notes that's for somebody out there that needs to hear that